game. Welcome to episode 2 of What I'm Thinking About. In today's episode, we're going to briefly cover a topic that I was talking about last time, and that is the release of Breath of the Wild. I am so happy. I've literally just brought this now, and I'm about to play it uh, for, the f for the first time. Uh, and it looks amazing, honestly, the, um, you know, I, it just looks great. Um, and the back doesn't give too much away. And this is such a big day. It's been five years since this has been like a work in progress, this uh, game. And it's, it's, and I think like three years ago, it really started kicking in that people were like, oh, this is happening. And it was meant to come out last year, but it's here now. And I am so happy. So excited to play. Now, I'm not going to talk about the game in this episode of what I'm thinking about. I just wanted to say how happy I was really about getting the game. Um, but tomorrow, Saul Bejo and Will Hughes are coming over. And we're going to do a full-on review of the game of what we think so far. We, we won't probably complete it tomorrow. But um, we, will, we will talk about um, the game so far and how far we got. What we think is good. What we think is possibly bad. Um, I mean, the game could be... Awful, but I'm, I'm not thinking that. But yeah, that is a review we're going to record tomorrow. When, when that will be out, I'm not quite sure. But I think with this episode, I'm going to do it slowly over time. The first episode was one day. Maybe if I do this over a few days, we can add some stuff to it. So yeah, I just thought, you know, Breath of the Wild came out, and that was what we covered in the last one. So uh, yeah, pretty, pretty excited. I'm going to turn the Wii U on now. Uh, it's currently got Wind Waker in. I've been playing Wind Waker again on the build-up to um, Breath of the Wild. So I'm going to take that out and play, uh, start this game up. So yeah, see you later. So I have just finished another Thomas project. And this one was a longer project that I've worked on. I spent about four weeks on it. And I'm really proud with the results. I haven't, I'm about to go edit in now and this one's different. It's an adaptation. It's something different for the Thomas the Tank Man 111 channel. Because what I wanted to try and do is people like Caleb, Lucas and Brendan, they create such beautiful pieces of work with their layouts. And I think it's because of the time they put into it. I don't put much time into my previous work. I'm just like slapdash, that looks good. And I don't think I should be like that. I think I should be more focused on, right, let's go attention to detail. And that's what I've tried to do with this one. And I definitely think it's an improvement. And it's something new. And yeah, I'm I'm really happy with this project. And it will be out by the time this video's out. So the link will be in the description below if you really want to check it out. For once, for a Thomas project on my own channel, I'm very happy to say that I made that. I'm very happy that I can look at that and I can say, wow, I made that. So today is the 20th of March and it has been quite a while since I've talked on this episode, as you'll notice the big time gap. And basically the reason behind that is because I've been questioning what to do with this series. I'm not sure whether to have it just discussing about stuff, or vlog kind of stuff, or something different. I'm not sure. It, the first episode of what I'm doing was an experimental thing that I wanted to try something new and have something original on this channel. And it after, you know, I made it, it I wanted to do more. But I was like, well, I want to add some more to it. And I think I've came to the idea now of it's just going to be general day-to-day -day of what I do and what I talk about. So there will be like some episodes that are like kind of like vlog episodes, some episodes that are kind of like just a talking to the camera episodes and there will sort of be some episodes that are a bit of both and maybe some episodes that will have something different, I don't know. Um, but at the moment that was what I've been thinking about. I've been also doing, I've been also playing a lot of Breath of the Wild so I really haven't been focusing on making videos. Um, did one ad adaptation of um, on Thomas the Tank Man 111 last week called uh, Gordon's Whistle. I've been playing a lot of Breath of the Wild, so I haven't really had time to make many videos, and I've just been very busy um, watching films and having a social life, which is quite nice, I guess. The, I will be adding more to this episode. Um, 
because I feel like two days over a long time span is kind of a bit too short to talk. And I haven't actually got much to talk about now. Um, all I can really say is I, I brought a new sketchbook. Uh, so yeah, I'm not really much of a drawer, but I like to just sometimes when I'm out and about on the go or sometimes even with friends, I like to just pull out my a sketchbook and just draw some shit in it on whatever I feel like. Um, I brought that sketchbook because my old one filled up and it wasn't as easy to like hold and like strap up and all that. And I prefer those ones which you can strap up and slot the pencil in. Uh, so that's why I got uh, that's why I got a new one. But my other one I filled up with lots and lots of drawings. Um, I used to want to be a cartoonist and go into animation, um, but I I went off that route a long time ago. Um, and Edsword was what inspired me, and it was the Edsword Legacy one year anniversary of the completion of it um, a couple of days ago. And you know I I still do drawings and I still sketch. But um, that was that was at one point. If you were talking to the fourteen-year-old me two years ago, I would have wanted to have gone down the route of animation. I would have loved to have been a cartoonist, but um, I can't really draw. You know, it's it's a little hobby that I like to do now and again, and it's quite just quite enjoyable, really. Um, So today is the 25th of March, and it is Ed's day. It's weird to think that it's been five years since Ed Gould passed away, and, um, and you know, over a year ago, Ed's old legacy finished. And it's quite weird that we haven't had any Ed's old content for over a year now, but also the fact Ed Gould has been gone for five years. But yet the fact that his work still stands out and people will still watch the ones that he made. For example, What the Future or um, Movie Makers or Hammer and Fail are some of his best pieces of work. And I can still go back, sit and watch them and love them to bits. And it, it is sad. It's it's so sad that he is... He's gone. But I, I think it's so amazing... What's happened, you know, Ed's World Legacy was an amazing thing uh, that Tom made and Matt worked on. And to continue it and do projects such as Hide and Seek, Power Ed, Fun Dead, they were really good. The End was amazing, So Lunatics, you know, and Space Space Part 2 continuing that. And it was amazing. And I think the way the show came to its close was good, it was really good. They got that charm to them, and I think it's nice that we can still watch those and just remember what Ed Gould created. Um, and it's something that inspires us all. You know, I was, I don't do it anymore. I don't animate anymore, but back then that was what wanted me to animate. Ed Gould was the reason I wanted to become an animator. I loved cartoons. I thought, ah. Oh, this is what I want to do. That's because of Ed Gould. Ed Gould was such an inspiration to me, and maybe one of the only inspirations I've ever had. And he is, he was an amazing person. Um, and it's, it's weird to think it's been five years since we found out. When I filmed the last part to this episode, I completely forgot that it would have been five years since Ed's death was coming up in a few days. And, um, it's weird. It's quite weird. It's quite weird that f I can remember five years ago finding out that video being uploaded. It's so odd. It, it is. It's strange. So anyway, yesterday the sun came out, and it's also out today, which is lovely. Look at that blue sky. That's just, that's just lush. And I decided to go to Everspoons with some friends for breakfast yesterday. And we, we had a nice we had a nice meal, nice breakfast. I had beans on toast, lush, and uh, it was pretty nice. It was uh, we caught we we all pretty much caught up with a few mates and uh, some college mates. And it was just nice. It was just nice, and it's nice to do things like that now and again. That night, then I went to see the new Beauty and the Beast film, and I thought it was quite good actually. Um, 
I'm not going to do a full review, but um, there were bits of it that I thought were, oh, you know, that is really good. And then there were bits that I was like, ah, uh, I can do some work. Coming all in great. Anything really to mind? There's a long one. To Ed. Five years today.